Hi guys, welcome back to Ted Rebel Gaming. I'm Ed and today is Season 5, Episode 3 of FC Oz in Football Manager 2018. Uh, I've been working on editing Episode 2.5. Did I say episode, uh, Season 5, Episode 3? I hope so. I've been working on like a 2.5 episode. Um, so like I said, we have played a couple games between episodes. Um, so you can see here we beat Quick Boys in the first round of the Cup. We beat Addo Den Haag in the league, and we lost to it direct. So I'm putting those out there just as a quick, like, sort of highlights package, um, which sounds weird. It's sort of to keep some content coming out, and so you guys can actually see a bit more of the season. Whilst at the same time, it sort of uh, helps with my editing because I'm learning the new software, and I'm not learning it as quickly as the last one. So I'm trying to like do a couple of different things with it. It might help with the new World Cup series as well. But yes, if you didn't catch that. Uh, so we beat Quick Boys 3 0 in the cup. It was a really changed lineup. Um, again, if you want to see any goals or anything, just go back and watch that video. It's pretty quick. It's only going to be a few minutes long, two, three minutes max. So that was much changed. Hagenar's got a couple, and Colin Douglas got one. We then beat Addo Den Haag in the league 3 0. Kane, Keenan, and Sonner on the score sheet. Absolute domination. Happy with that. And then we lost to Direct, so only our second loss of the season. Uh, they scored a penalty in the last couple minutes and that kind of killed it. Uh, we didn't really look like winning that, but we didn't really look like losing either, so that was a bit of a shame. But today we have Feyenoord. I'm going to jog this Achilles game on. This is who we drew after the Quick Boys game. Uh, I'm only jogging on because they're a, they're a Juppa League side. I think they've just been promoted last season because their history looks a bit strange. 16-17, finished 20th. Doesn't show they've been relegated, but then the league doesn't exist on Vanilla FM. So there you go. So yeah, we're just playing final today. So if we have a look at the league, it leaves us in fourth. I don't know what is going on with the amount of games teams have played so far. It's very strange. But with fourth, we got two games in hand over teams below us. We're a point ahead of PSV. We're a game over Feyenoord and three points behind. So they've won 7-7, seven in seven, so they'll still have a game in hand on us, even if we win, to sort of pull away. Ajax have won 8 out of 8, so that's a nightmare for us. I say nightmare like we're expected to do anything, but you never know. So it's big. It's, it's exciting up there. If we can win this game, we start to pull away a bit, at least from 7th place. So that's the aim for now. In terms of other news, nothing has really happened, to be honest. Uh, I still obviously can't offer out contracts or anything. Uh, App I wanted me to improve my man management, which apparently I've done. He's just back from injury, almost back from injury, so that's nice. And Robert Keenan wants us to achieve a promotion in 256 days, which is going to be difficult seeing as we're in the top division, but let's see if he just gives that up eventually. So yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Quick look at dynamics, all's pretty good, and let's have a look at the team. So yeah, in that cup game against the Achilles, there was a ton of rotation. Uh, there's not so much rotation now. We're back to our full strength team. I do want to give some of these guys some game time, but we got so we got like three or four teams worth of players there, so that's going to be interesting. I don't know how to deal with that, but I'll figure it out. Um, we got Moose in goal, Birmingham, Azevedo, Maxwell, Vasquez, Olate, and Keenan, Silva and Sonner. Marta and Kane. So Sonna and Keane are the two new ones this season. Sonna has just carried on being pretty good. Uh, one goal, four assists in the league. And that's why well, he's only played in the league, so that'll explain why. Darren Kane has unfortunately dropped to an 8.6 average rating. Only 10 goals in eight now, which is very disappointing. Rodrigo Silva's wanted. I think he was last time MVV. Yeah. Robert Keenan has been doing pretty well. Um, he's just a, a bit of a, a machine in there, so I'm happy with that. I don't think there's anything else to show you, really. So let's get into the game against Feyenoord and see if we can pull off some kind of upset. If we can stop them getting, well, maxing out their points out of eight games, that'd be nice. So I would honestly take a draw at this point, but we'll see. They're playing a 4-4-2 diamond. They do have a regen who looks pretty tasty, actually. So we're never going to get him. Uh, I have noticed a load of my face packs and graphics packs have disappeared, which is really odd. Go, go, go and pull off an upset, sure. Uh, I'll figure out what's going on there. I've got no idea. Uh, oh, also I got rid of all this stuff to do the highlights thing. So I'm so sorry. How do you add this back on? There you go, just a few clicks and it goes back to where it was, which is nice. Everything looks a bit quicker though, which is strange. 
Um, yeah, a load of my face backs and graphics are gone. I think it's done to do with my laptop trying to sync up with something that wasn't there. So it's just got rid of them. So I'll figure that out. But um, that'll probably be next episode that's fixed for. Final knock it fours, they're through on goal. Moose saved. I might have called him PSV at some point in this episode. I do apologise if so. I just. They're all. <laughs> sounds ridiculous. They're all much of a muchness. Fire Nord, PSV. My acts are the ones that stand out. I think Fire Nord are the ones I forgot at the start of the, the series when I was trying to mention the big teams. But they threw again here and put it just wired. So they're already knocking on the door a couple a few minutes in. Um. They've won the league three out of four seasons, I think, or no, it might be, might be two out of four seasons in this. Um, I'll do, I'll check that at the end of the game. I did see him in the corner, I just didn't quite pay enough attention. So clearly not bad, and from my youth, I remember him being quite good. But I seem to, uh, my my brain is telling me between the years of like 2000 and 2015 or so, they didn't really get up to much. But who knows. But they're on the ball again here, and they are sort of dominating possession somewhat. And now they've put it wide. Chance to cross in, yep. Head down, and then headed straight at Moose. They've had four shots, and I think they've had three, or they've had three highlights. If not three clear-cut chances, two clear-cut. Vasquez thrown on the left, gives it to Sona. Kane crosses it in. No one's there, and no one's there to pick up the loose ball either. I think their diamond is undoing our formation quite a lot it's been so good against so many teams but we seem to be struggling against the diamond De Jong Toomstra on the edge gives it to De Jong they're just playing it around with ease that is a huge tackle from Vasquez does get the ball though and then hoofs it along for Kane can he get down the left he can't but Marta's there gives it to Keenan and Keenan puts it just wide <sighs> that's such a huge chance and we've we messed it up. Is that John Obi Mikel playing for them? I don't recognise any of the players, but again, I don't really, I don't do much modern football, especially abroad. Uh, so I recognise Jay Mikel, quite possibly John Obi Mikel. Everyone else, unless it's Seymour, Luke De Jong, no, Nigel De Jong maybe <laughs> come out of retirement, and I thought that was going to be the goal. We are really hanging on here. We've got five minutes till half time. Let's just see what we can do. When we've been this outplayed before, I've sort of accepted we're not going... Or it hasn't happened often since we've been doing this well. Um, I've sort of accepted that we're not going to get anything from the game. If this carries on, they're going to score. So I'm tempted to just push up and try and force them a bit into defending. But it's these balls that are dropping out of the box that are the problem. And they seem to be winning that area, sort of behind our midfielders. But I'm going to try it. We're going to try and force them further up the pitch and just see if we can crowd them out a bit. See if Olarte wants to get more involved in stopping their attacking mid, dropping deep. Because I think that's the problem at the moment. I guess our, oh, they've got a corner now from the right. They put it to the edge of the box. Looks a bit too far up to score, he says, but they're working it closer, and there's a humongous deflection, and then it goes, which is horrible. I think maybe the problem we are facing is that I think this is the first time we played a team that haven't had, well, we played quick boys who had like two defensive mids and two centre mids. This is the first actual team we played that isn't playing with wingers of any kind or at least wide midfielders and I think that is damaging us although Kane is on the left cuts it back Marta is there and there's the equaliser it's beautiful I love it got a few players on the yellows though so I might have to make some changes but yeah as a result of the lack of wingers I think our because our left back and right back are on full back support but I have set up player instructions to make them act like defenders they're just a bit more than defending and a bit less than supporting and that works for us really well but when they, when they don't have wingers actually coming at us they're sort of just sitting there uh, when they could be getting forward a bit more so I might have to look at that in a minute are you going to get oh my word Maxwell does get there gives it back to Moose that was a panic then it looked like it was even Stevens but Maxwell's done well and then whacks it long intercepted Where's the short passing that we're asking for? As a veto gives it to Silva, who's really deep here. 
but they've pushed up quite far as well. If we can just get a ball over the top, Keenan with a terrible header. Fine order coming again. Oh no, here comes the cross. And oh, it's Frankie De Jong. Is he is he relation? Is that like Frankie? Yeah, that goal owed much to Keenan's mistake. I believe that. Just wasn't a great header down, and they've they scored from it. It's John Obi Miguel. He must be a million years old by this point. We'll have a look at him after the game. Um, nothing is happening really. We made, we've had two good chances and scored one of them, which makes me think there's something in there for us. But I just don't know. At the same time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Birmingham on because I think he well, he's the best right back we have anyway. But. I don't know, I just I feel something here. So I'm going to put Van der Linden on complete wing back. I'm going to put Birmingham on complete wing back on support as well. Actually, Van der Linden I'm going to put on attack just to push up a little bit. We do have a defensive mid on that side who should cover. Michael Marta, as much as you've scored, I'm going to bring you off. Oh, this is a hard decision. I'm going to bring on Varela. So quite like Kane in that role, and Varela's really good at finishing. We saw that when he scored a hat-trick after he came on. And Keenan has had a terrible game, so I am going to bring on Saraiva. Mickey and backboard, don't know what's happened. They're just not getting any game time, and I need to sort it out. I mean, McKee, I, I might give him a little bit of game time and then sell him, just because he's going to potentially cost us so much money. But we've got 15 minutes left and nothing's happening. Birmingham thrown on the right, gives it to Varela, who's already on a yellow. He's been on the pitch about 10 minutes. That is a terrible pass. Is Birmingham going to get back in time? That is a great, great tackle. And Moose, for some reason, slides and dives to get the ball. Uh, nicely held possession. That's the joy of having him, giving it to the fullbacks. Sonner, can he beat his man? He can't. He's on a yellow, the right back. And I can see him moving down there. Not that he's needed, because we're just playing straight through the middle. Moose with a save though. And they've just made a sub leading to a corner. So now I'm not sure if this is a corner highlight or a corner highlight. Ooh, Moose with a good save. I mean, they've had three clear cut and two, no, and one half chance. We've apparently had two of each. I don't really believe that. I feel like they've been by far the better side. He's offside, that's good. Um, so what do you do in this instance? I'm just gonna I'm gonna put people on attacking because I can't be I can't be dealing with not even trying to get something from this game. Olate can step up. Maxwell, you become a stopper just so you kind of move forward a bit more. So Olate, you can be a deep lying on defend. Survivor, you want to be more of an advanced playmaker. So there you go. Let's just see if that does anything. Changes, changes haven't yet gone through. There is a highlight though. So this might be me reverting it in a second if we get a goal. But as it stands, final order just cutting through us. And there is the man and there's the third. Oh boy. I mean, it's hard to be too disappointed. They've won seven in a row for a reason, final order. We've got Birmingham and Maxwell keeping Pereiro onside. Yeah, sure, I might as well go for it a little bit. Yeah, they're clearly a good side. But to have won six and lost three now, it takes a shine off a little bit, but it's okay. Losing to final isn't isn't a disgrace by any means. Ugh still sad you can tell I'm still sad and there it is we've been beaten 3-1 we deserve to be beaten completely uh, I'm gonna say I can't fault any of you it's just one of those days they love it they lap it up and I'm just gonna send the assistant and let's see where we are in the league mm. <laughs> so we are fourth uh, we are still one point ahead of PSV so they must have oh no I think we had that already. We had two games in hand, didn't we? So we still got a chance to get away from fifth and sixth place. So we need to take that chance, really. But early indications are that Ajax, Feyenoord, and Heerenveen are the ones to chase. 
So if we look at since we started the save, so final won it just before the save started. They won it the year the save started, and the third year PSV have won it, Vitesse won it. So I actually yet to win it. Am I just making it up that final were terrible? Yeah, no, I was, I was kind of, I was right. They did nothing until 16-17 since at least 0-0-1, but I don't know because I'm not going to go that far back. So disappointing, but, you know, we'll all go again. We've lost two in a row, and next up on the stream is not going to be pleasant. It's going to be Ajax. Uh, I might throw in Canva. We'll see how I'm feeling at the time. We'll see how quick the Ajax game goes. Uh, and I might try this highlights thing here. I might just try it through this season and just see how it progresses. It's not a huge deal to edit. It's just because I'm setting up some templates which are taking a while. But if you've enjoyed that and you want to see Ajax or more highlights or anything, do drop that in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on it all. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.